Hello world, this is the Hacker 7 and today I'll be showing you guys how to recover a photo, file, video, or document, basically any type of file that you have pre previously by accidentally deleted. Now, there are many methods of this trying this. Many don't work. This has proven to work. Now again, this doesn't work 100% of the time, but if you're going to try something, I suggest this. What we'll be using is a program called Rokuva. I believe that's how you say it. It's a uh, made by Priaform, a Bliss company. They have uh, many other uh, programs. You guys should check them out. They're uh, all really good programs, all free too. So they're all they're all pretty good programs. Um, so if you go to the download section right here, or I'll have it to this. You can just hit download here. And there's the uh, business edition or just the no support. Now if you get the free version you don't get um, basically you don't get support so you can just go here and get the uh, download from Priaform right here. I'll link to this right here and you can just guys can get it just click run or you can download it. English next I agree install and just run. So it's a little wizard. Next, so now, now basically you get to uh, show what kind of files are you, are, you are you trying to recover. So you can recover pictures, music, documents, videos, compressed email, compressed files, emails, or other. So I'm just going to go other and click next and now you can search where you want to do it so if you want to do it from a, a CD, a floppy disk, in your document, your recycle bin and if you're not sure you just hit M everywhere so I'm just going to go recycle bin I'm not even sure if anything will come up but now if you want you can enable the deep scan which this will take a little longer so if you're going to enable the deep scan or deep scan sorry I suggest just enabling it and walking away for a bit um, if you know, if you think you deleted it within the last like couple days, all you gotta do is hit start, and it should scan right away. And here, as you see, it's already flying up. So, if you ha not sure and you just had no idea, you can just hit d deep scan. It'll take a little longer, but you have a better chance of finding the file or whatever that you need. So step one is it actually just scans your drive, and step two it analyzes the file contents. So as you see here, it's flying up. So it's it's a good program because if you're going to try and recover, um, it's the best idea for. Okay, here we go. So um, as you see, I have about a trillion files that are not. Um, available. <laughs> now right here on the side here we have a green and if I scroll down you'll see I have some red and I'll have yellow. Now next to it there's a state. Now if it's poor it might be able to recover it. If it's unrecoverable there's no chance of recovering it. Now a lot of these are actually just um, video files that I just deleted that I was just testing. But there are, so some of them will be yellow, some will be red. It just depends how long you deleted it ago and what program deleted it. And there's just a lot of things that depend on um, covering it. So, as you see, this one right here, this one we found right here, is completely recoverable. So that means I can <clears throat> recover it and put it where I want. And same with all these TIFF files. So it depends, because I there's no overriding clusters detected on it, so that which means that I will be able to recover it without any problems at all. If it says excellent and recoverable, that basically means you can do it. So it looks like I have a couple here. So uh, if you uh, 
right click on one of the files you can actually go over it and just go over some options if you hit advanced mode you'll get a, a preview of it if it has a preview and if you go to info you'll have a little info and a header now this one right here this this one right here is a picture it's a, a tiff animation picture now and here is also the options by the way now I'm going to show you guys how it works now once you have a file selected all you got to do is double click on it and you'll get a little check mark then go to your corner and you can click click as many as you want hit recover now it's going to ask you where you want to save this to so I'm going to go into my documents and I'm going to create a new folder and name it recovered tiff animation hit ok now it says do you want to restore to the same drive this can reduce the chance of accessible recovery it is advised that you cover to a separate hard drive so a flash drive whatever but I'm not going to for this purpose and there we go it says it's done so we're going to go check this out so we'll just go in documents find R record TIFF animation and here we go and the record TIFF animation we have it now this file actually never worked in the first place that's why I deleted it so it already was corrupt that's why I actually deleted it in the first place but for most of the time it will work um, Again, that didn't work because it was. I deleted it because it was corrupt in the first place. I selected the wrong codec, and it um, was ended up being corrupted. So, again, though, here is some more stuff that's green. It just depends if you go over it with anything, stuff like that. But uh, this is a good program. I suggest checking it out. Um, it also has your little stats up here too, your, your computer specs. So it's a cool little program. I suggest checking it out. I'll have a link in the description to download it like it did at the beginning of the video. And besides that, have a nice day. Uh, this is the Hacker Chip Blow 7, and I'm signing off.